Hello everybody on YouTube. Uh, today what I'm going to try my very best to do here is I'm going to show you how to make a very strong but safe disinfectant that you use for your dishes with your dish soap. And it's good and it's also good on your hands too. So it has a lot of benefits. And actually if you've seen where people have had surgery or if you were awake for your surgery and they put this orange stuff on you and had the alcohol smell, well, you're looking right at it. It's two ingredients. This is iodine. Um, so let's see, on iodine, and you're supposed to, uh, I would recommend using higher than 70%, but I'm only using it just for, uh, for the video reason, and I can get by with that of alcohol. And this is 56 ounces, but we only have 30 ounces in here. So for 30 ounces, you're going to use a quarter cup of alcohol, and you're going to use a ta two tablespoons of iodine. All right, now I'm going to pour this in because I can't do this while well. this is in my hand, and I'm going to show you what happens from here. Okay, hit pause. Okay, and here we go. And here's the alcohol, and there's the iodine. And I'm going to give it a, a quick shake here, and pretty much done. Now, suds are going to be common at first, but it's going to settle, and you don't need to shake it ever again. Just shake it the first time, and everything's going to mix together. Now, you don't need boiling ass water to get everything disinfected, disinfected, but I prefer you everybody use hot water anyways, obviously you don't use cold water. And also as a side note, I make an aerosol spray, but because of evaporation, I make it in small amounts for cleaning the toilets, my hands, and counters, and in addition to your normal cleaning, okay? And here is obviously 100% alcohol with just a drop of iodine. Enough just to turn out lightly tinged, you can't even see it on the video. And these are very cheap. This is about six bucks, and this is about a, a little dollar, dollar and a half. And it goes a long way. As I said, it's very cheap. It's benign, which means it's rather safe, obviously. But you're not going to sit here and drink this shit down. And, as I said, cost effective. But uh, best of all, it's extremely powerful for what it is. And I'm not going to give you, I'm not going to say it kills 100% of things, but I can tell you one thing it does a lot more than pretty much anything on the market out there, especially when you compare the variable of the toxicity. Alrighty, well have a good one, and if anybody else has any other ideas for the kitchen or around the house, I'd love to hear it. So you have yourself a good day. Take care.